guys, in this video we're going to be talking about highest common factors and lowest common multiples between two numbers. So we can work these things out for any amount of numbers, but in this video we are only looking at two numbers. So some useful skills and knowledge would be uh, being quite happy with your prime numbers, at least under 20 really, and expressing numbers as products of their prime factors. If they're at all worrisome, uh, go back, check out my videos on those, make yourself happy, make a cup of tea or coffee, come back and play this lesson. Okay, let's get cracking. So first of all, some definitions. So a highest common factor between two numbers is the biggest number that goes into both of the numbers. So for example, with 10 and 15, the highest common factor is 5 because 5 is the biggest number that goes into both 10 and 15. Whereas the lowest common multiple is the smallest number that both of our numbers fit into. So for example, again with 10 and 15, the lowest common multiple would be 30, because it's the first number that 10 and 15 both go into. So when we're dealing with small numbers like 10 and 15, it's quite easy really just to think about uh, the, the highest common factor and lowest common multiple. As our numbers increase in size though, it does get more difficult. But we do have quite a nice simple little method to help us find them, no matter what our numbers are. So the first thing that we want to do is, whatever numbers we're given, we're going to need to express them as products of their prime factors. Once we've done that, we're going to use a Venn diagram. Now we've got, we're going to be playing with two numbers, so we're going to need two circles in our Venn diagram. Now each circle is for the factors of each separate number. So for example, with number A, we put the factors that only appear in A in the left part of this left circle. And then for the factors that only appear in B, we put them in the right part of the right circle. Any factors that pop up in both numbers go in the middle where the circles overlap. It's called the intersection. So any common factors go inside the intersection. Okay, so once we've filled in our Venn diagram, we can get our highest common factor by multiplying all of the factors in the intersection together. And we get the lowest common multiple by multiplying every single factor in the Venn diagram together. Now then, I am a big fan that the best way of learning is by doing. So let's go through quite a few examples. Okay, so the lowest common multiple, uh, highest common factor and lowest common multiple are 24 and 40. So the first thing to do, let's label our circles. And then we're going to want to express each number as a product of its primes. So 24 is 2 cubed times 3. Now I often find minions find it much more useful to actually write them out in expanded form and we'll see why in a second. And 40 is 2 cubed times 5 which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay let's check out what we've got common so far. So we can see they both at least Got this one common factor of 2, so we're going to plonk that in the middle. They have a second common factor of 2, so we plonk that in the middle. They have a third common factor of 2, so that's going to go in the middle too. Okay, so now we've run out of common factors, so the 3 for 24 goes over there, cross them out, and the 5 for 40 goes in there. So we've filled in our Venn diagram, we've put all of our factors in. Let's use it. So the highest common factor, we multiply everything in the intersection together. So 2 times 2 times 2 will give us an 8. And the lowest common multiple, now we multiply everything together. So I'm going to keep mine in size order. It doesn't really matter, but it looks nice. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24, and then 24 times 5 is going to give us 120. So the lowest common multiple 
24 and 40 is 120. Okay, let's have a look at another one. 16 and 36. So 16 is 2 to the power of 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 36 is 2 squared times 3 squared, which is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So let's play with our common stuff again. Now hopefully you can see they've both got 2 factors of 2. So we can put two twos in the middle straight away like that. Now we've ran out of the common factors. So 16 has got another two twos. So we put those over in the only 16 part of the left circle. And then 36 has got these two threes. Okay, so the Venn diagram's filled in. Let's use it. So the highest common factor is just going to be 2 times 2. That's going to be 4. And then the lowest common multiple is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is going to give us 16. 16 times 3 is 48. And 48 times 3 is going to give us 144. So the lowest common multiple of 16 and 36 is 144. Okay, let's do another one. 40 and 72. Okay, so 40 is 2 cubed times 5, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, and 72 is 2 cubed times 3 squared, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So let's sort out the common factors. So hopefully again you can see we've got 3 factors of 2 common. So we can put those straight in the middle. And then we've run out of the... <coughs> Sorry. Then we've run out of the common factors, so we've got the 5 left for 40, and the two threes left for 72. So the highest common factor is going to be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And the lowest common multiple, here we go, is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, times 3, times 5. Now then, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, times 3 is 72, and then times 72 by 5, we get 360 for our lowest common multiple. Jobs are good. Okay, 15 and 42. So both of these are quite nice. 15 is 3 times 5, I haven't labelled my circles, and 42 is equal to 2 times 3 times 7. So we've only got one common factor, and that's 3. Now 15 has got a 5, and 42 has the 2 and the 7. So the highest common factor here is really nice. It's nothing to do except for read it out of the Venn diagram. It's just the three. And the lowest common multiple then is going to be two times three times five times seven. Two times three is six, times five is 30, and then times seven is going to give us 210. So the lowest common multiple of 15 and 42 is 210. Okay, 45 and 120. Well, 45 is 3 squared times 
5 and 120 is 2 cubed times 3 times 5. So, oh dear, I haven't written them out. Um, sorry, so 45 we can write as 3 times 3 times 5 and 120 we can write as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 so let's start with the common so we've got one common factor of 3 and we've also got one common factor of 5 Okay, so now we've run out of the common factors, so 45 has one more factor of 3. Also, I'm going to label my circles. How naughty. Okay, so uh, there's all the factors for 45 put in. And then 120 has two, three lots. Three times. Okay, so the highest common factor... is going to equal 3 times 5, which is 15. And the lowest common multiple, well, we need to multiply everything together. Uh, so there's quite a bit to do. So if we multiply everything together, then we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Times 5. Now then, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Times 3 is 24. Times 3 is 72. And then times 5 again is going to give us 360. So the lowest common multiple of 45 and 120 is 360. Okay, 35 and 150. So remember, if you feel brave, have a go yourself first. So 35 is 5 times 7. And 150 is going to be 2 times 3 times 5 squared. But I'm just going to write it as 5 times 5 straight away. Okie dokie. So what have we got common? We've got what? We've only got... 1 factor of 5 common, then 35 still has a 7, and 150 has a 2, a 3, and a 5. So the highest common factor is just going to be this 5 in the middle, and the lowest common multiple, everything multiplied together, is going to be 2 times 3, times 5, times 5, times 7. So 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, times 5 is 30, times 5 is 150, times that by 7, and we're going to get 1,050. So the lowest common multiple of 35 and 150 is 1050. Okay guys, that's highest common factors and lowest common multiples. If you made it this far, well done. That turned out to be a lot longer than I uh, intended it to be. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends and send me any requests that you might have. Cheers guys.